Welcome back to AM Buffalo. And I am so excited because I have Nakia Kim back with me from PAL. And we have Samuel Orsini, the supervisor of Pool and Rinks. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so now in this segment, we get to talk some obviously facts about why we need what we need for the summer pools to be open. But we have young people that are going to do a demonstration for us, Samuel. So they're not going to do it just yet, but tell everybody what they're going to do. They're going to be doing an active swimmer save. Okay, and tell us the importance of these classes and what they mean. Um, so they actually mean a lot to the community because they'll teach the lifeguards how to save a life mm -hmm. and prevent people from drowning. Yeah. and it'll teach them how to administer first aid and CPR to the swimmers if yeah. needed. So Nakia, let's talk a little bit about the first class um, because you guys had people sign up. Can you, can you talk about the atmosphere um, that, that's here mm -hmm. when you're teaching the young people um, and what that means when they know that they could possibly save a life mm -hmm. and be a part of the summer program? Right. They are excited. They really are. Their parents are excited. Yeah. They come early in the morning. They're ready, they're ready to do it. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize that there is almost like a prerequisite you know, a little prerequisite before they actually start. Yeah. Um, so our instructor basically gives them the lowdown of what they'll be going through in this 32 hour training. And then after that, they actually get in the pool. Yes. We have to make sure that they can swim laps consecutively without getting winded because we want to make sure that they have stamina. We want to be able yep. to save somebody. Um, we also want to make sure that they can dive to the bottom of the pool and get the brick at the bottom of the pool and bring it back up. That's yep. part of the prerequisite. So if they're able to past that they go on to the next level yeah and we actually want to tell them give them the go-ahead so we can actually see some of the things that they do so Samuel speak a little bit to um, what you do so I'm the supervisor of pools and rinks and I oversee the lifeguards at the pools and make schedules for them and just make sure they're the buildings are clean and that the pools are run well yeah and then the young people that participate in the summer programs, yes. um, it's, a, it's a fun job to have, yes. right? Speak yes. to that. Absolutely. They, um, so you get to work outside for the summer yeah. and you're, you make new friends that could become your friend for life, potentially. Um, and they, and who wouldn't want to work outside right, in the summer? Right, right, right. So, and they'll get a nice tan and they also get to make $20 an hour too, so. Yep. And, and speaking to that, he talked about getting a nice tan and making $20 an hour. Right. Speak to the perks again. I mean, we can never talk about it enough. Young people love getting their paychecks, but there are other things that they get from this as well. Oh, absolutely. I think just the socialization, the opportunity to meet other kids in yes. the neighborhood, to get a chance to work in different neighborhoods. Um, they earn some cash and they have a certification that they can use all year round. Yeah. So if they decide, you know, once they work for the summer that they yeah. want to come back and work for the city for the indoor pools, they're able to do that yeah. during the school year yeah. um, and be able to work on Saturdays. And a lot of people uh, know that some, maybe some health clubs or theme parks or yeah. some other places um, that they could work as yeah. well during the school year. So that's also an opportunity. So they have the certification that belongs to them. Yeah, and then, great. And then getting to the mission of PAL, yes. getting young people involved in our communities. Talk about the importance of that. Yes, it's about the summer program, but the mission of PAL. Yes, we want to engage as many young people as we can to be productive. We want them to have some product, something productive to do. We want them to have meaningful work, meaningful jobs, meaningful programs yes. so that they can contribute back to their community because it's all about civic duty. Yep, yep. Okay, so Samuel, yes. I need you to invite some young people out to these courses. Everyone sign up and come participate in the courses if you want to be a lifeguard for the city of Buffalo. And you get to meet Samuel, yes. right? <laughs> Nakia, I need you to give everyone the information for PAL, how they can sign up, where they can sign up. Load us up. Absolutely. They can go to any of our social media pages at Police Athletic League or our website, buffalopal.com. And you could also find it on the city site right at the bottom in the What's Happening section. Oh my gosh, if you don't want to participate now, listen, my teenager, I told you the last time you were on that my teenager yes. is going to be a part. Yes, yes. And so sign your teenagers up, get them, get them excited about getting involved in the community. Thank you so much for watching AM Buffalo this morning. Oh, the city of Buffalo, I just love the city of Buffalo. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day.